Leandro and uh, Ariana is, is very close, just like uh, me and, and well, yeah. well. Clearly, he's just trying to get back at me for having Leandro here. Y'all, this is getting real petty. Benjamin invited his ex-girlfriend to dinner without telling Ari. This is the same ex-girlfriend who's behind he was drumming on last season. She's gorgeous. I agree, Leandro. We could look at her all day. But why is she there? Benyam seems more worried about getting revenge than keeping his fiance right now. Did he cheat on you? Little did he know, though, playing tit for tat would cause him to end up in the hot seat. Plus, hace un año. Evelyn confessed that she and Corey got married a year ago, although she's been making it seem as if they're not married yet. Trying this dress makes it seem all extra real. I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, this is happening, what am I going to do? Girl, it already happened. Oh, Dios. Basically, she's been fooling her family, the producers, and us. Está loca. Recontra loca. Hey, 90 Day fans, fam, it's Melicia. Ooh, I cannot wait to see how y'all feel about Benyam inviting his ex-girlfriend to dinner. Well, well, But before we get into that, <laughs> Benyam choked Ari's ex-husband Leandro out <laughs> while they were boxing at the gym. Okay. Yeah. No, he's not okay. Leandro tried to play it cool. That was intense. But part of him was like, what the hell was that? That caught me off guard completely. Benyam is not playing about Leandro being a threat to his family. I want to talk like a man to man. After claiming his dominance, he cut straight to the chase. Why you came, like, uh, here in Ethiopia? She asked me, almost begged me to come because she was feeling homesick, uh, a little bit lonely, so I wanted to see what was going on, why she felt like that. Benyam also asked if he and Ari slept together when she visited the U.S. and Leandro stayed with her. I'm asking you seriously, yeah. just like, just, did, you, did you guess me, like, you know, just uh, uh, maybe, I, 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 well, man to man, just I want to know, okay. please let, no, just uh, I want to ask you. Don't worry. You don't have anything to worry about. When he says, I don't do what's like in the sex with Ari, I don't know why he's, uh, 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 like, when he talks. He's nervous, like when I see him, he's nervous. I don't trust him. Of course he's nervous, Benyam. You just had your arm wrapped around his neck. Now, I know a number of you might disagree with what I'm about to say. I already had a back and forth with my friend about this, but after the fight, I started to feel bad for Leandro. I did. Yes, he crossed the line by coming to Ethiopia in the first place, so he was kind of asking for trouble, but He's going through all of this because he genuinely cares about Ari. I just care about Ari, and I want to see how she's doing, how she's doing with you. And you can tell it's beyond romantic feelings. He's my best friend. Also, in my opinion, if Benyam was truly handling his business, AKA not staying out all night. When Benny, he goes out, he stays out all night, you know, and I would be alone no, with the baby. It's very yeah. hard. Yeah. She wouldn't have been begging Leandro to come in the first place. So who are you texting, baby? Moving on, as Ari, Benny, and Leandro were heading to dinner, Benyam revealed that he invited his ex. Why? Huh? Because uh, uh, she's around here, just I like to just invite her, like something, just we can go together so far. Fun? Benyam. Clearly, he's just trying to get back at me for having Landro here. I get that he wants to give Ari a taste of her own medicine, but this isn't the most mature way to go about it. And I know some of you are probably saying, well, Ari started it. I agree. But to put out a fire, do you add gasoline on it? Nice. Well, it was burning, all right. Bingham's ex, Zion, came in hot. Uh, Leandro and uh, Ariana is, is very close, just like uh, me and, me and well, yeah. When I saw Zion uh, first walking, uh, she's gorgeous. She's extremely beautiful. 
To me, it doesn't make much sense why they are not together. I would like to know why they ended up, the relationship. Now, this is what Binyam didn't think about. Inviting his ex to dinner created the perfect opportunity for Ari to ask questions. Yeah, I'd like to ask you, like, why did you break up? Why did the two of you break up? Questions that she should have had answers to a long time ago. Why are you asking her now? You can ask him anything you want. He give you advice. Actually, it's only fair. So he, he asked me the same question. So you, it's, he, fair. it's fair. It's fair. You should answer the question. It's OK hey. for me to just some It's, just, it's OK for you to stop space. interrupting and translate. When she said translate, I said no. Benium, you better repeat every word verbatim. He cheated on her? Yeah. Look at Leandro helping out. Did he cheat on you? Tell the truth. I think. <laughs> you think so? Mm. How do you know? She's never spoken to him about it. So just like Ari and Leandro didn't really have closure from their relationship, as we saw last week, Benyam and Zion haven't either. I don't get how you're still friends with your ex, but you don't talk about why you broke up. You can see his reaction. <laughs> Zion revealed that she thinks Benyam cheated on her when he met his first wife, who was also American. But after she told her side of the story about how it all went down, as expected, Benyam translated it differently. When she sees like uh, my ex-wife, she asks me, who is she? I tell her just, I'm doing custom for movies. You're so full cool. of <laughs> oh, this guy is so full of Wow. Yeah, you oh my God, okay. Is it just me or is that not funny? If you cheated, just own up to it. At least try to make us think you changed your ways. <laughs> Zion revealed that she never thought she and Benyam would break up. And because she was so in love, she didn't want to believe he was cheating on her. <laughs> Wait, are they giving each other the eye? What was that? Anika, Chunga, Minamana Chitara Kubat. Binyam claims he didn't cheat on Zion. He said he met his ex wife after they separated and then went on to say that Zion is extremely jealous and got upset that he moved on so quickly. That's that typical I don't want to own my part in an answer. Yeah, blame the woman for being jealous that you moved on too quickly after she accuses you of cheating on her. Okay. Everything is my fault, and my family is awful, and nothing at all is your fault. I mean, you're with him, you know, all night when you guys are dancing, whatever, at the club. Do you think I have anything to worry about? Why are you, why are you wearing that one? I don't know. I mean, okay, he I love accept. him, and he loves you. And then you have confidence with your love. No? Right, but you can love someone and they can disappoint you. She's like true, very true. And then she tried not to laugh when Ari asked her that. You know what? I'm not gonna say much else because the reality of it is is that it's really none of my business. I just hope that this isn't one of those situations where the pot is calling the kettle black. And what I mean by that is I hope Binyam isn't accusing Ari of crossing the line with Leandro because he's crossed the line while he's out and about and not at home. I've always worried that he could make a stupid mistake that might compromise our relationship. And this only makes my fears worse. Key takeaway here. Know why your partner's previous relationship didn't work out before you get into a relationship with them. It will tell you a lot. All right. Let's quickly touch on Evelyn and Corey. I invited my sisters over today so they can help me with the planning of the wedding. What are you guys looking at over there? Wedding dresses. So they've been planning their wedding in Ecuador. And Evelyn wants to go with this wedding planner that is quoting the wedding to cost anywhere between twenty-six dollars to $50,000. And Corey? Corey said, nah, that is too much. I thought, perfect timing. Now, while it's understandable that he wants to save money, what he does next is extreme. I really hope that Evelyn's gonna like it. As Evelyn was looking at wedding dresses with her sisters, 
Corey goes and pulls out the dress he thinks she should wear. Look. It's got, look, open back. And it's got the slits on the side. It's his sister's prom dress. And it has a hole in it. It's a really horrible, old, dirty dress. Is that a hole? Can you please just try it on? I think it will look nice. It is embarrassing to have my sister's presence this thing that Corey did. It's like, oh, look at my super cheap future husband right here, bringing me his sister's old dress for me to wear it. You heard her say future husband, right? Well, there's no future there because he already is her husband. While she was dress shopping with her sisters, who despise Corey, by the way, Evelyn revealed that she and Corey went ahead and got married a year ago. Corey and I went to Guayaquil. We got married. So basically, she's been putting on an act for her family and for the cameras. I can't wait to hear her explanation because this is pretty bizarre. <laughs> All right, well, next week. Are you sure this is what you want to do for your future? Mari and Beanie. Leandro gets real with Ari, and Ari clashes with Benny and sisters once again. Uh, we heard about what happened in uh, New Jersey. You we stayed with her fear. while she's pregnant, and mm. she lied about that Beanie. He's my no, best she... friend, you know? I sometimes, honestly, I feel lonely because you don't trust me. Honestly, I don't even want to talk anymore, so. Am I leaving alone? Am I going to you gonna leave with him? him? That's always so awkward when you get up and no one else gets up with you. Whew. All right, 90 Day Fans fam. Make sure you stick with ET because we are covering it all. I will see you next time.